My assignment is to find the area and perimeter of this uh, oddly shaped, irregular shaped figure. Perimeter, you know, is the distance around it. And so the first thing I'm going to do is try to mark my sides to figure out what goes with what. Okay, so I know that this 4 goes with there. The 7 goes with this. This is 10. That goes with that. And this is the 12 goes with this. Alright, so I need to find out. I'm going to draw this dotted line here because that is going to equal 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. So up here at the top, that's 5 centimeters. And then I'll extend a line down this way. And I have now made that line 10 centimeters long. The first part of it is 4 centimeters. So this part here has to be 6 centimeters. All right now I'm ready to go to work with finding the perimeter. I could have 5 plus 4 plus 7 plus 6 plus 12 plus 10. And there you see I run into a little bit of problem because I kind of ran out of room. I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to combine some numbers. So I have 10 plus 10 is 20. I've now used this, I've used this, I've used this. Uh, 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. 24 plus 20 is 44. So my perimeter is 44 centimeters. So let me review what I just did there. I found the length of each of the side lengths on my object. So I did that side, this side, this side, this side, this side, this side. And then I added them all up. Now I'm going to go to job number two, which is going to be to find the uh, area of this object. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my eraser and erase some stuff. Okay, now I'm ready to find the area of this irregular shaped figure. And to do that, I first need to change it into two regular shaped figures because then it's easy to find the area. There's, that's just length times width. I can do that in two different ways. I could, I could draw a line down this way or I can make a line across this way. And, that, and it doesn't matter which one you do because it's going to work out the same. I'm going to go with that solid blue line. All right, so dealing with the top figure, I have four centimeters. I need to find out how far this one is and just to kind of repeat what we did earlier this line here is 12 12 minus 7 is 5 so the length of this top line is 5 centimeters 5 times 4 is 20 so the area of this top rectangle is 20 centimeters squared all right this outside line here is 10 centimeters long, four of which are right here. 10 minus 4 is 6, so this one is 6 centimeters. So my equation for the bottom rectangle is 6 times 12. 6 times 10 is 60, 6 times 2 is 12, 60 plus 12 is 72. So the area of my bottom rectangle is 72 centimeters squared. So now all I have to do is add those two together. I have 20 centimeters squared for my top rank rectangle, 72 centimeters squared for my bottom rectangle. At this point, I'd like you to pause your video, and you do the math, and then turn your video back on, and we will see who has added correctly. Okay, we're back. So let's do the addition. 2 plus 0 is 0. 7 plus 2 is 9. 92 centimeters squared is my area. Watch this video as many times as it takes for you to figure out how to do the perimeter and the area of an irregular shaped object.